Hey, real quick guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to take a second to let you know that this is a re-upload of a video that YouTube had pulled down. Uh, they did give me a uh, warning, not a strike, but said that my content was going against their TOS and further stated that I was either trying to manipulate, um, uh, modify or sell a firearm and that's not what I'm doing. This video on the MC1911C from Gerson is solely my experience with this particular pistol and the issues that I've had with it. Now overall I would say that Gerson is actually uh, a pretty decent company and EAA has been standing by their warranty claims but unfortunately I did run some issues and I wanted to share that with you guys. So for my YouTube overlords, uh, I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not modifying anything. I'm just explaining to you and everyone else the issues that I've had. So let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be doing an update video on the Gerson MC1911C. If you're not familiar with this pistol, this is a commander's size 1911 chambered in 9mm from a company out of Turkey called Gerson who imports into the United States through EAA. And I had high hopes for this pistol. I really did. I've already done one video on this. I've put 500 rounds through this initially and had issues, sent it in under a warranty claim through EAA. And I wanted to share my experience with you guys as to what's going on with my experience, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Try to stay as transparent as possible with you guys, explain what has happened. But before we get into that, I have to say a special thank you to this video sponsor, and that is going to be preparewithfitandfire.com. If you guys are not familiar with My Patriot Supply, I am partnering with them to provide you guys with some emergency food that is not only cost effective, but also has a 25 year shelf life. Now, you know, there's a lot of other uh, YouTubers out there that is uh, promoting my Patriot Supply, and I'm jumping on board as well because number one, I believe in what they are trying to provide for everybody, and number two, it's something that I use as well, and I recommend it to you guys. If you're not familiar with what an emergency food supply is, it is basically food that is ready to eat when you need it. So if there is a natural disaster, a shelter in place, maybe some civil unrest, uh, maybe inflation just gets way too out of control and you just can't afford to go to the grocery store, you have something to fall back on for a couple days, a week, a month, a couple months. That is what My Patriot Supply is all about. And I'd really encourage you guys to swing on by and check that out. I'll have a link in the pinned comment down below. I use them. I have some of their 72 hour bags in my truck at all times. So if I get stranded somewhere, I at least have some food with me. And I'd encourage you guys to check it out and maybe see if it's something for you guys as well. Full disclosure, I'm an affiliate with them. So if you do purchase something using my link, then, um, We'll get a small kickback and I uh, appreciate the support for the channel. Okay, so let's get back into it. The Gerson MC1911C, I had high hopes for this pistol. I really wanted this pistol to be kind of my next uh, project for maybe two gun competition, maybe use it for the tactical games that I have coming up here in August. And unfortunately in the first 500 rounds, I had a lot of extraction issues. I sent it in to EAA, like I said, under a warranty claim, and I did so just as Mark, you know? I didn't do it as fit and fire or anything like that. I just did it as a normal run-of-the-mill civilian to see what their custom service, customer service was like. And I uh, wanted to share my thoughts. I've since obviously have it back and share my thoughts as to what has happened with the additional 300 rounds to get me over 800 uh, and, 
go from there. Okay, so uh, my experience so far with their warranty is that it, it's good. It's been really, really good. Their customer service is great. Their website kind of outlines everything that you need to do. So there's really no uh, misconception as to how you get things sent in and uh, how do you request a uh, warranty claim and all that different type of stuff. Any questions that I have was responded uh, back to me through email, usually within 24 hours or less, which is really nice. And then um, on the flip side, as a YouTuber, I was also able to communicate with EAA through the uh, direct messages on Instagram as well. If you guys are not subscribed or following me on Instagram, I'd highly encourage you guys to do so because I put out a lot of content behind the scenes as to all the different projects that I'm working on for the channel. Something that you guys might want to do, shameless plug. Okay, so good experience with their customer service and I will say when I got it shipped off to EAA, uh, they received it, did some work on it and sent it back and it was about a eight day turnaround time. So just a little over a week. And the other great thing too was they sent a note in with the pistol to say, uh, the condition that it was received in and what they ended up doing to fix this pistol. Uh, they replaced the extractor, tuned it, and then ran five magazines of federal 115 grain 9 millimeter through it. They said they had no issues, so uh, they went ahead and sent it back to me. And I thought that that was pretty awesome that uh, they uh, did all of that. So good experience on that aspect of it. Now let's talk about the bad. Unfortunately, I got this pistol back. They said that they didn't have any, any issues, but again, they only ran 45 rounds through it. But after running 250 rounds through this, uh, 250, eh, probably about 265 rounds through this, uh, I've had several issues with uh, extraction. Basically the same thing that I ran into with the first 500 rounds. And uh, I'm going to say that I had probably about a dozen or more uh, issues with extraction, whether it be a horizontal um, stovepipe or a vertical stovepipe or just some binding inside the chamber as well. I've had several different types of stovepipes or failures to extract malfunctions. And that it really lets me down. It certainly does let me down because I'm pulling for this pistol. I really want this pistol to, to run well. And unfortunately so far we have not been able to um, figure it out as of yet. Now, since my last issue with this pistol, I have uh, received a call from EAA because they saw my Instagram post and uh, they said that uh, they want me to send it back to them and that they're going to send me a mailing label to uh, send this back in and get it looked at again. If they can't fix it, then they are going to go ahead and replace this pistol. And I asked them, is this something that they would normally do for anybody? And they said, yes. If you send something in under warranty and it comes back to you and it's still not fixed, they will send you a mailing label to uh, send it back in and uh, either do some more work on it or replace it um, with a like item. So I thought that that was pretty cool of them as well. Now we gotta talk about the ugly aspect when it comes to this particular pistol and that is how I had to get this pistol back to EAA. Now in my experience, Previously, uh, I've had two warranty claims on two different items. One was even before I even had a YouTube channel. And when I filed the claim, uh, that manufacturer sent me a mailing label to ship it in. And it took about seven days and I had it back, which was really great. And that's been my experience and that's, my, that's been my expectation moving forward. Since then, I've had to send something else back here just in the last month and again, Mailing label was sent to me, boxed it up, shipped it in, and I'm still awaiting it to come back. Uh, it's probably going to be about 30 to 60 days on that one. But when it came to this one, I had to pay for it myself. I had to box it up. I had to take it to my FFL and have them ship it um, for me. You can ship it 
yourself through like UPS, but uh, you're going to have to overnight it, which is probably going to be a little bit more expensive than if you ship it through an FFL. And that was kind of a bit of a heartburn for me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of having to pay to have something fixed that should have been fixed from the get-go, if that makes any sense. So um, I talked to my contact at uh, EAA and asked them, hey, what's the deal with this? Why am I having to pay to uh, ship my stuff in? His response was, in his experience with working with several different companies in the industry, that it's about a 55-45 split as to companies that require you to pay to ship something in versus companies that send you a mailing label regardless of the situation. And I understand it because they're like, some people just send stuff in and there's nothing wrong with it, but they think there's something wrong with it, they're just doing something wrong. So I can kind of understand that aspect of it, but unfortunately walking into this warranty claim, my expectations was that it would be covered. The postage would be covered and so far it hasn't been. But they did say since I'm still having issues that they're going to send me a mailing label, should have it uh, probably tomorrow uh, at the time of me filming this. And they also said that that is standard practice for them as well. If you have an issue with this particular pistol or you have an issue with any of EAA's pistols that they provide, they import, you send it in for warranty claim, they fix it, send it back to you, you still having issues, they will send you a mailing label to ship it in and um, let you guys uh, go from there. Um, and they will either try to fix it or replace it um, at no charge to you. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, some saving grace there, I guess. But uh, realistically, this has been uh, quite the experience, to say the least. Now, naturally, I get it, all the jokes. 1911, you get your peanut butter with your jam and yada, yada, yada. Okay, ha, 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 I get all of that. But <laughs> realistically, uh, I'm really pulling for this pistol. I was hoping that this would be my next uh, kind of competition pistol on a budget uh, to provide you guys some extra content uh, in using this in a competition like tactical games or something like that. But... Unfortunately, I can't do that right now. Uh, but what has been your experience, not only with maybe EAA, uh, but other manufacturers? Do you, uh, have you had situations where you've had to pay to send something in yourself? Or has it always been uh, mailing labels sent to you and then you ship it off and they send it back to you at no charge? Love to hear your guys' experience, not only from uh, EAA's perspective and pistols that you have purchased with them, if you've had any issues, but also other situations as well. Sound off in the comment section down below because that's what we're here is to share all this knowledge and make sure that people are as well armed as possible, not only on a daily basis, but as for uh, knowledge as well when they're trying to purchase the pistol that they're going to use to protect themselves with. So. Thanks so much for everybody swinging by. If you haven't already considered uh, subscribing, I'd encourage you guys to do that. Uh, give me a like and obviously give me a comment down below that feeds the algorithm and helps spread my videos out to more and more people. In addition to that, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, one of the best ways that you can do that is share this video with your friends and then also swing by fitandfire.com. I've got a newsletter that you can sign up for right on the homepage. And if you guys are interested in jumping in on that, uh, you'll have access to not only a monthly giveaway, but also you'll be able to uh, find some really great deals on ammo, uh, some firearms, firearms accessory type stuff, and then also training. Uh, training's really important. You're gonna be able to find some training across the country as well. So consider signing up for the newsletter. I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks again, guys. I really do appreciate all the support that you're giving me in the channel, and we will catch you next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.